okay, let's be honest. And the, the honesty here is that recipes really never end. I mean, there's a variety of problems and we don't cover everything, but we do introduce some recipes. Don't be overwhelmed by all these recipes that we're just kind of working through it, see if we can follow a recipe at this point. Anyway, they say that these are integrals involving uh, tangents and secants, and they say the power of the tangents thought is positive. What do they tell you to do? They say save one factor of secant 10x in the problem and convert the remaining tangents to secants. I think I can do that. Uh, but what I mean by that is I can do what they're asking me to do, which is save something. So they said save a um, secant tan. I'll do that. And if I do that, what's left over? It's tan 4 and secant cubed. Okay, then what do they tell you to do? They tell you to convert the remaining tangents to secants. All right, so I have some relationships that I know about. I wonder if you know, 1 plus the tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x, which means the tangent squared x is going to be secant squared x minus 1. So let me do that. And what do you get over there? You get 0 to pi over 3. And what what you get there is, you know, if I took that tan 4, it would, it would be secant squared x minus 1 squared. That's taken care of. Let's write this over here, secant cubed x. And then you have um, secant x tan x dx. All right, let's go to the next step. The next step says let u equal secant x. Well, let's do that. And what are you going to get end up with? Well, the secant of 0 is 1. And the secant of, um, of pi over 3 is 2. And then um, I'd get u squared minus 1 squared. Let me outline what I've done so far. This, this, uh, I'm sorry, this, this. And I just did this. I'm going to do this now. And what's that going to be? U cubed. And then I got this thing on the end, and, and they want me to you know, put the differential down for that. So let me repeat it. If, if u was secant x, then the du would be secant tan x, which is this right over here. So I get something like really simple now. I get du. So what I want to do is make sure you know if I have that, that that's a relatively simple integration to do. Let me write this down for you. 1 to 2. And let's see, you would get u4 times u cubed, which is u7. You would get 2u squared times u cubed, which would be minus 2u5. And then you would get minus, oh, no, not minus, plus u cubed. Du, all right. This is probably a good place to, um, you know, look back over uh, your notes now and see if you if you've met, you know, what I consider a really good milestone here, being able to get to this thing over here, because this really is going to make the problem really simple for me if I get there. Let's see if I got that. Got one to two, u seven minus two u five plus u cubed over three. I want to get the antiderivative though. Let's put this down for you. And what do you get? You would get u8 over 8 minus 2u6 six over 6 plus u4 over 4. I want to get a common denominator. Just to make it a little bit easier for me, it's 24. You get 3u8. And let's see, minus 8 u6, and then you'd get what? 6u4, right? All right, I want to see if I got the antiderivative down now. And I'm going to look at it carefully. I do see the 24. I see 3u8 minus 8u6, and I'm seeing an error over here, though. I'm seeing this say minus. It's actually a plus sign. All right, this is an error. You're not going to see that. I'll correct that, and it won't appear in your notes anymore.
all right? So I'm gonna say on the exam, this would be a good spot to get to, all right? It would really, really good spot to get to. What I wanna do though is I wanna do the arithmetic, all right? Now if I do the arithmetic, I should get this number here. And I wanna, I don't think it's gonna be that bad to do, but it's not pleasant, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna write down the integrand a little differently. I'm sorry, the, uh, the integrand a little differently. It's 24. I'm gonna factor out u4. And what do you get? 8u4 uh, minus, I'm sorry, not 8. I don't know why I, I did that. I guess I'm looking forward. Let me erase that start again. 24. I'm going to factor out a u4. You get 3u4 minus 8u squared plus 6. Limits integration go from 1 to 2. Let's do arithmetic and see if we get the same number. Equals 24, 16. It's a square, right? That's 16 times 3, 48. Minus 32 plus 6 minus lower limit 24. Uh, that's not so bad, right? Because it's one time, so it's going to be 3 minus 8 plus 6. Let's do our arithmetic. It's a 24. And let's see, 48 minus 32 is um, 16, 16 plus six is 22. And it's gonna be minus, let's see, three minus eight is minus five, and minus five plus six is one. I guess some work to do here, don't I? Um, let's see what we come up with. Let's do 16 times 22. Six times two is 12. 12, 13. And then you get 220. That's two, three, five, three. Take away from that 351. Over 24. They're divisible by three, by the way. Three goes into 24 eight times, and three goes into 351 once, once, seven, one, one, seven over eight, all right? Again, if you struggle with arithmetic on an exam, I would say stop here, all right? It would be nice to get to the number. A lot of people make mistakes and they get nervous and they start to screw up other places because they get so nervous. All right, your mileage may vary, but you should be able to get to this spot easily on the exam, by the way. Thank you.